Hey guys, Dano921 here. Welcome back to episode 17, I believe. I believe that's it. Of my modded Let's Play. As you can see, we've got a book on here. And we have something that we want to make. So, let's just get down to it. It's quite a cool spell. And I'm actually really, really excited to use it. I need a snowball. I knew I forgot something. Also... Um, there we go. Yeah, not a good start, but there we go. Uh, snowball should have everything else. White rune, uh, blue orchid, uh, glowstone, sunstone. I did go to the nether and get some sunstone, uh, bone mail. What? Um, what? I think it just bugged. Um, I think I just bugged again. Pretty sure I was tripped to spell parchment in, but okay. Not to worry, but, um, this is my projectile light spell. Um, Something that I've been wanting to do for a while. Uh, I need to find a good picture. Uh, that'll do. No, I'll have a bright one. So, what this does... Makes lights. Now, I'm pretty sure that I put a... Colour thing in this. Yeah, light colour. Oh, yeah. It was meant to be instead of a no, My bad. Oh, well. Um, but, yeah... This is a projectile light spell called Torchlight. Now, if you don't know what this does, then basically it's just a torch. Uh, I need a better place to show you, really, don't I? Uh, oh, that, that'll do. There we go. And boom, it's lit up. It, it's basically just a torch, but it uses your mana instead of actual torches so there's no need for these anymore which I'm really happy about because I torches are good but they're just so annoying to constantly make and use so I decided yeah I'm, I'm not gonna do it but what I've got planned for today is something a little bit different um, yeah I've got a lot of cobble so, last episode we got some Cursed Earth. This episode, I want to use that Cursed Earth. And this is, this will do for an area. Um, I don't know how big I want it to be just yet. But this is a good starting point. And we're not really using this bit for anything, so why not? Right, so, the reason I want to make this is because we're, we're having a bit of a problem with enderpoles, really. And I, I need a way to fix that problem. So, the way I'm going to do that is with something called a grinder. Um, not too difficult to make, but basically what I want to do is I want to use the grinder... And I want to collect mob essence from this cursed earth. And I will use that mob essence once I've captured a um, enderman in this safari re safari net, the reusable one, which needs four enderpearls and a gas tear, which shouldn't be too difficult. Also, am I? Yeah. I was, uh, I was testing some stuff out on a different world. But, yeah, so... What I want to do is use that grinder to make ender pearls, put the safari net in a, what's it called? I can't remember what it's called. Um, is that it? Auto spawner, yeah, that's it. So I want to use that um, because that will just give me loads of endermen 
and then I can use something I haven't figured out what yet but I can use something to then make uh, get the end pearls kill them automatically and stuff like that and it'll be it'll be quite cool so I think I might make this a little bit bigger this should be big enough yeah this should be big enough be fine so yeah I need to take out the floor because I want to put the cursed earth on that level now I am making this three big so endermans will still probably spawn in here which is actually a good thing because well I need endermen to spawn so let me just grab up all this stuff now I can't remember the range of the grinder and I'm not sure if you can upgrade it I'm hoping so but I can't remember and I think I'm about to be attacked am I no not just yet so yeah let's get us to building with this and then we will be able to uh, get some ender pearls which we need partly because I want to go to the end and uh, I want to fight the ender dragon but also if I do go to the end that will be an even easier way of getting well actually no it won't be an easier way will it I was thinking it will be an easier way to get um, get endermen but probably won't um, right, so that's all that done. Um, get rid of all the lighting. Actually, I'm going to leave some lights up. So, here goes nothing. Going to be planting some cursed earth. Now, I want to make a little entrance for this. And I, in hindsight, should have made a door. But yeah. So hopefully, when this spreads, there we go. It started already. When this, when that spreads across the entire room, we're going to have a decent amount of uh, mobs spawning there, which is going to be quite useful. So we can put this stuff away now. Uh, and that. Now we need a grinder. So what do we need for a grinder? We need invar. Need plastic. How much of this can we make? None of it. Tin gears. Uh, I want that. The other tin gear. No. That one. So we need two tin gears. Which wasn't difficult. We invar sword. Plastic sheets. Do we have any plastic? We don't. Okay, that can be sorted. Just cooking that up in there. Grinder. So what else do we need? We need some books. Redstone reception coil. Yeah. Uh, so the books. One, two. There we go. So now we should be able to make the grinder. If we've got the plastic, we do. And there's our grinder. Perfect. So let's go over here and have a look what's actually happened. Oh, as you can see, there are a lot of mobs already. And for some reason I've got a bit of lag there. So this needs power um, to be able to work. Uh, I think what I'm going to do for now is... Just try out with an engine, see how it works. Ooh, we've run out of charcoal. I thought we had. Hello, spider. Yeah, I kind of figured that we had run out of charcoal because I looked in my engines before and I couldn't find any. But, not to worry because we've got a uh, crap load in here. There we go. That's like 30 odd stacks, which is just insane. So, yeah. 
let us go put this back in the computer as we need the computer to be running and we will get our go away zombie um, yeah we need to have this getting power so if we just put that like that we need a redstone signal don't we forgot about that lever easy enough now put it on this block do that that should start producing energy which it is good um, I'm not sure how much energy this needs to work that hurt ouch should probably go and eat actually because there's zombies around. Uh, potatoes. I also harvested my farm, so I've got a few more, which we will cook up. Uh, we don't have anything in there, do we? Now? Right. I'm also pretty sure that this goes through armor. This fireball, which is cool. So there we go, as you can see, and we've got my essence. Perfect. Now, damn it, where are all these zombies coming from, seriously? Possibly spawning down here underneath that, hmm, shouldn't be a problem. So yeah, as you can see, we've got our there we go we've got our grinder working I'm not sure of the range but it should be okay I mean it's gonna spawn enough mobs as it is anyway so I want to get a chest on the back of here and something else I'm gonna need is I'm going to need uh, These lights aren't that powerful. Oh, well. uh, I'm going to need a tank as well. Damn it, zombies. Right, so tank. What tanks can we get? We could get that one. Um, that holds 800, 1600. We could have an ender tank. How hard is that to make, though? Ender pearls. Can't make it. I think the best thing to do would probably just be make this. And then we can put that there. Like so. And then put that there. There we go. And we can actually see him as well, which is kind of cool. So that is our mob grinder done. Oh my god, seriously. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this has got something to do with that mob farm. Yeah, I'm just going to retreat into my house. Don't mind me. Yeah, this... I'm, I need to sort this out. is mobs spawning there we go that should stop them now what does augmented do on this does it make it more powerful it does as you can see that is a lot more powerful which is quite useful now, does this this doesn't have an upgrade slot, which is kind of annoying, but you know it works. What the hell, Arcane Essence? So as you can see, there's a few mobs in there now. Not sure what mob that is, but <clears throat> as you can see, it's working. And uh, as you can see, we've got 2,600 uh, mob essence, which is perfect. Also, you may notice I've lost some levels. I 
I had a little bit of a problem. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, it seems to be working. Um, off camera, I'll probably make it a little bit better, but I wanted to show you the initial idea behind it. Um, something else that I wanted to do this episode, but I'm not too sure if I'm going to be able to. Uh, not because the time of the episode, but because it's not exactly easy. As you can see, I've got triple compressed and quadruple compressed. And there's something else I'm getting. Iron, diamonds, and my division sigil. Yeah. So, can you guess what I'm making? Bottle to the deep dark, I need a quadruple compressed cobblestone and four triple compressed. And I need four unstable ingots. Which, yeah. This is not going to be good. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. But, I'm going to give it a try. Um, I'm going to put my stuff in this chest. Just in case. Because you never know what's going to happen. So... Iron divided by diamond. Oh god. This is quite sketchy. Ah. Oh. Okay. Wasn't actually as bad as I thought it was going to be. I didn't think I was going to make it at all. But I did. So, sweet. Now, the problem is... I've made the portal to the deep dark. But, as, it, as I've been saying it for the few episodes... I don't really have any decent armor. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some of these. Um, craftable items, right. So, uh, actually, how much quartz have I got? Six. Um, okay. Let's make three blank patterns. LV capacitor. So, do I know to make anything gold? I don't. Don't I? Do I even need, know how to make the shears? No. I think I might need more than three. Also, for some reason, I've got like 133 iron plates. Don't know why. I think I probably made them, but I can't remember. So we've got those. We can auto automatically craft those now. LV capacitor. So we need gold plate, which is that. And then we use the gold plate to turn it into gold wire, which is that. That is all of our stuff now. This is why I need more quartz. But you know what? I need to make this. It's not actually that difficult to make. It's just the fact that it's just so many steps. Right, so I've got those made. I've got those... I don't have those, but how far away am I? So I need that. Then I need that. So, crafted items. I can make two of those. I can make one of those, I can make four of those, that should be everything I need if it can craft it. Um, what was it? I can't even remember what it was. T 
tin, so I've got that. And then I need redstone, I believe. Yep, so that's a battery. And then, is it coil? What's it called? Wiring. Boop, boop. LV capacitor. Now, I know it's not exactly the best battery. It's actually quite a rubbish battery. But, oh well. I at least have a battery now. So, what can we do? Well, I'm pretty sure we can do this anyway. I don't think this needs power. But... Uh, right, I'm going to make this off camera. I will... Oh, actually, never mind. I'm, I can make it right now. Diamond plating. Install plate thickness 6 points. Now... This will probably make me move quite a bit slower, but it should be it should be alright. And as you can see, I'm not taking terrible amounts of damage. So that's good. Um, one thing I do want to get before I go anywhere near is the jetpack, which needs iron thrusters, which needs enderpearls. So off camera, I'm probably going to AFK quite a bit and get some more enderpearls from this, if I can. So yeah, I think that's going to be it for this episode, however... Da, da, da. There's a creeper at my door. Na, 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 na. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to end the episode here, so I want to say thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, hit that subscribe button, all that good stuff. Boo, 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 boo. Yeah, these lights are pretty cool. Uh, yeah, but um, yeah, thank you for watching and I shall see you next time.